Stoke City Arsenal Stoke City v Arsenal Premier League Bet 365 Stadium Saturday the 19th of August 2017 3 p.m. Team News Mark Hughes has several selection dilemmas ahead of kickoff as he contemplates handing Bet 365 Stadium debuts to all six of his summer acquisitions. Whilst youngster Josh Tyman is the least likely to get a starting role against the Gunners, the other five all have a realistic chance of being included in the eleven. Kurt Zuma and Darren Fletcher both appear shoo-ins to start the match, after impressing on the maiden league outings last weekend. Maxim Chopomoting also enjoyed an impressive cameo appearance from the bench last time out, and will be hoping to get the nod from Hughes to start the game this time round. Bruno Martins Indy is also now eligible to feature her after missing the cut-off point to play some part at Goodson Park following his £7 million arrival from Porto last Friday afternoon. The most intriguing inclusion however could be that of Jesse, following his high-profile capture from French giants PSG earlier this week. The former Real Madrid man only linked up with his new teammates on Thursday, but Hughes hinted in his pre-match press conference that he could thrust the forward straight into action as he looks to lead his side to victory over the North Londoners. Arsenal meanwhile are able to call upon the experienced central defender Primoti Saka after he missed the Gunners' opening day victory over Leicester City. The Germans' absence meant Arsene Wenger was forced into starting opposition view. Arsene Wenger has challenged his players to reproduce last season's showing at the Bet 365 stadium as they bid to maintain the winning start to the 201,718 Premier League campaign. The Gunners secured an emphatic victory in North Staffordshire back in May with goals from Alexis Sanchez, Mesut Ozil and a brace from substitute Olivier Giroud inspiring the Londoners to a 41 triumph. That victory was just Arsenal's second away win in these parts in Premier League history, having only previously claimed maximum spoils in these parts back in 2010. We had a good performance last season and we have to focus on that and deliver the same performance, he told the media at Thursday's pre-match press conference. We were well organised, efficient, we were under pressure to win the game, absolutely, we were in a strong run as well. Overall we had a convincing win there which I believe should inspire us this weekend. Whilst Wenger was quick to highlight his side's vulnerabilities in these parts in recent times, he stopped short of describing the Potters as a bogey team, instead opting to lavish praise on Mark Hughes' side. I don't believe too much about bogey teams, he added. I think what is a result of the day is the performance. For me, Stoke City are a good team with good players and it has always been a tough place to go, not just for us but for all teams. Of course we enjoyed some success there last season and we want to build on that this weekend by continuing our winning start to the season. His hopes of doing that have been boosted by the news that defender Primerti Saka is fit and available again having missed last week's curtain raiser through injury, although there was less positive news, from Arsenal's point of view anyway, on key frontman Alexis Sanchez. Mertesaka will be available again for Sanchez it looks a bit early again, he works hard in training. I think Saturday comes too soon but he should be available for Liverpool. His recovery is going very well. He is working very hard. Last time we met Stoke City 1 Crouch 67 Arsenal 4 Giroud 42 80 Ozil 55 Sanchez 76. The Potters will need absolutely no reminding of the last encounter played out between the two sides in ST4 despite going into to the fixture, back in May, boosting a hugely impressive home record against the Gunners, Arsene Wenger's men put City to the sword as they battled to keep their Champions League hopes alive. Goals from German Mesut Ozil, Chilean Alexis Sanchez and a brace from Olivier Giroud helped the Londoners to a comprehensive 41 triumph, with Peter Crouch netting a consolation for the Potters. The victory was only Arsenal's second in nine meetings in North Staffordshire. Man in the middle Andre Mariner will take charge of his first ever Premier League fixture between Stoke City and Arsenal. The experienced official has overseen 26 Potters matches since the club returned to the top flight in 2008 but never won which has been against Arsene Wenger's side. The West Midlands-based referee last took charge of City last season during the club's maiden trip to the London Stadium where a late Belgian striker earned a point against West Ham United. Mariners' most recent Arsenal fixture meanwhile came at the start of May when the Gunners ran out 20 winners at the Emirates Stadium against rivals Manchester City.
In total, the official oversaw 39 games in 201,617 ranging from League One to World Cup qualifiers, dishing out 146 yellows and 7 reds. The referee was last in action last weekend when he handed out three yellows and one red card to Newcastle United's John Joe Shelby as the Magpies lost 20 to Tottenham Hotspur at St James Park. Live coverage StokeCityFC.com launched its brand new match centre ahead of last weekend's curtain raiser at Goodson Park, and it returns from midnight tonight, providing plenty of pre-match build-up, live coverage of the game and then, when the action is over, all of the post-match thoughts from Mark Hughes and his first team players. During the encounter here will also be up-to-date live in-game stats, as well as live match photographs and supporter interaction. As always, there will be free live match commentary on Stoke City, whilst we will have all the pre- and post-match reaction online too. Also, if you haven't yet downloaded the club's new official app, then do so right now, so you don't miss out on any of the content published right here on both the official website and Stoke City.